more. We got one more here. What refreshment do demons prefer? Taco Cola. And with that, chat, we are getting ready for the 0% race between Minifish and Kioma Pacheco. Everybody, get ready for Doom 2016, 0%. That was a while ago. Yeah. One and a half. I do believe this thing is on. So, hello and welcome to the Team 2016 0% race between Mini Vision Gamer. Tonight we'll be commentating up by myself and, and me. <laughs> I am also Bry Guy. For those of you unaware of what Doom 2016 is, it is a zero percent. Is it's a very challenging set of criteria. Seth, please tell them how it goes. So basically, there are no upgrades allowed during this run, but you have to play basically the entire game through, almost like 100 percent, but not really because there are no upgrades allowed and no secrets. But uh, I'm sure you have more notes on that front. I sure do. It's essentially full combat rating from Foundry onwards, and you are not allowed any progress towards any of the challenge mission challenges. So much as a tick against the challenger, and the runner has to restart the level. This is a tough challenge that is all around mastery. Mastery of your movement, weapon accuracy, and game knowledge. All are tested to the extreme in this criteria, and sometimes Doom will pull a new surprise out for you regardless. To introduce our runners tonight, we have from Canada, Mr. Mini Fisher, holder of the 100% Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare World Records on speedrun, and his competitor, Kaoma, the Brazilian Street Fighter Man, world record holder of the 0% Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare categories. From watching their practices, this is shaping up to be one hell of a race. Fitting now for where this Doom train is going. Our oh, race is Ultra ready Nightmare to go. World record. You, not anymore, you don't, but you did. Oh. I was about to say there is a there's there may be two runners in front of Minifish now that uh, have yeah. managed to push the time down. Yeah, Slick and Rytro. Anyway, are our races ready to go? Yeah, ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so count them down, Saf, from three, two, one to go. All right, okay. three, two, one, go. Oh man, I'm actually kind of uh, excited about this very first room, man. Um, yeah, nobody likes waking up on a slot, do they? No, but it's in particular because, you know, a lot of runners will only play Ultra Nightmare. They'll never actually go through this starting room. And uh, I've seen it before. It can actually be a bit of a, a hurdle for some players if they haven't actually practiced it before because you basically just have the pistol and the starting combat shotgun with absolutely no mods on it so you gotta kind of pay attention with all the imps in the room i mean one fireball and you're you know three-fourths of your health gone yep and now we're introduced to olivia look at her yeah right in the cross by hollow oh, no. projection <laughs> she always creeped me out when i first played this game yeah we have to contain this yeah go along with that buddy <laughs> but do they know he's gonna bunny hop his way to the entire end of the game in like you know two and a half hours bunny hop across the surface of mars <laughs> look at him affectionately stroking that helmet he knows <laughs> oh man so yeah i'm kind of curious in ultra nightmare so this entire uh sequence is basically not even part of the run how much time do you know that this adds on to un runs this or adds on it? about three minutes 20 seconds if it's clean wow really yeah so like three and a half minutes of just added fluff that's yeah, just gone this, from ultra nightmare yeah this exposition only takes about one minute 30 the lift once you press the buttons another 25 seconds and then the fight takes the other what minute in there yeah yeah well i uh, i really hope both of these runners have no issues with the uh, first room don't I think, uh, stop, no <laughs> never uh don't do that ever for any reason clean pistol whips 
Okay, okay, I'm gonna turn around to shoot that one in the back one more time before opening yeah. up the door. <laughs> Hello, yeah. Mr. Imp. Uh, here you go, the first boss of Doom 2016, the Imp. What do you think of him, man? He's, he's one of the final bosses, too. He's a problem yeah. from this game from start to finish. Yep. 45 HP fireballs or 75 HP fireballs. They will ruin you. Especially in this mode, because there are no health and armor upgrades, which means you're kind of screwed if even one makes a connection. A connection. Yep. I mean, you yep. have mega health and things you can pick up, but, you know, it's never a guarantee. Nope. So far, so good for both runners. Very much so. Okay, almost, almost done with this first fight. Yep, camera's done. So while we're Good watching deal. the end of this fight, do we have time for a couple couple quick donations? Yes, we do, sir. All righty, we got a few more tickets for the $5 hype train. We got a $5 donation from AT that says, which demon is scared of the dark? The Dread Knight. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, that's a great one and bad omen donates five dollars with the comment choo choo thank you both for your donations uh we also got a 666 dollar donation from Pots with the comment zero percent is 100 percent impossible but these runners will rip and tear through it somehow thank you so much cg pods for that donation that puts wow. us a mere 79 dollars away from hitting the four thousand dollar mark chat can we do it? Can we hit $4,000 before the end of this run? I think we can. We are not that far away. Let's get those donations in. We don't have a lot of marathon left. So if you want to see that number cross 4,000, be sure to get your donations in. Please. And meanwhile, UAC time. Believe it or not, this is the most played Ultra Nightmare level. <laughs> it's also pretty straightforward. Go fast, don't get hit, and stick the jump right. I don't get party ball either. Um, that's and... always a bad time. Yeah, um, here we go, okay, I'm starting the ball fight. This is the first fight in the game where you introduce to the pressure of the imps and the party balls of possessed soldiers. They can easily ruin your day fast, but of course... Yeah, they can. They will be they, handled. They will be handled. They make it a lot easier to deal with on normal 100% runs, because you have things like the super shotgun rocket launcher to just kind of wipe out whole hordes of them. But, you know, for 0%, you got to kind of rely more on your aim and positioning to kind of outmaneuver them. It gets easier once you've reached the end of Rezob's arm foundry when you get access to the rifle. Yeah, the rifle definitely helps you uh, finish off a lot of kills. The oh, rifle is probably pistol. actually one of the most important weapons, I think, in 0% just for its uh, ammo conservation. Yeah, it's a solid workforce and KM is already through the first fight. Oh, well, he's got to go around a long way. He jumps up through the little tunnel. He's going to pick up the little Doom guy there. Um, <laughs> no, ultimate isn't. disqualification. There will be no toys picked up in this game, unfortunately. Unfortunately, not sinking. You're not allowed to pick up collectibles. Those bunny hops are clean from both players so far. I'm watching yeah. both, yeah. Yeah, now this turn ink is, well, yeah, bunny hopping and scroll jumping. But you use the mouse wheel to do the jumps because you can get a higher jump. Spam is and now the thing. jump. First, you yeah, have to the... jump right to land on the metal bar, scroll jump onto the burning wreckage, and then onto the end of the tram line. The tram line has trigger points where it will want the door where you have to reset the checkpoint or go hug a barrel. Unfortunately, neither of the runners have had to experience that. Great will, that's <laughs> And we're through. Both races make a short work of the most played level, and their UAC hype. UAC hype is, is not real because they will not be replaying it. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> good job on both players. I'm actually going to swap over to uh, Minifish real quick for this uh, beginning of Res Ops. Let's see how it's, he's doing. Oh, oh um, they're going is, to is, glitch. Yeah, this is the part I'm you line up on with the, the, the wiggle. Yeah, yeah, you line up on the black line and then mouse over trying to get the right line so you can interact with the door but underneath. It's not a uh, feature that will be normally in a 0% run, but it's a cool trick to pull off instead of waiting for Vega. First fight, good grenade uses King as he's killing the engineer looming. 
And also that possessed soldier. Barrels can be so dangerous on this fight. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> again, you can't pick up that upgrade where you're either, uh, you either take yeah. less damage or you're immune to uh, explosions, so be wary. And imps are brilliant at kicking barrels in your face. Oh, and yeah, they are. So the challenges you need to avoid on this level are to not kill two zombies with one shotgun blast, which is quite easy to do when they fight together. And the other one is not to glory kill zombies. Uh, those are the biggest ones. I've actually glory killed a zombie on accident while uh, doing this particular level. I've done it funny. Um, Kaoma is about to do the Gornesta Drift can buy me skip and he's already through it fast as you can. <laughs> there should be a zombie there, but there isn't because they haven't done the go nest. There's a mod for that. There is a mod for that. Well, these gentlemen don't need that mod. It's all about skill. The ground I grabbed the berserk, I assume just for the speed boost here. Yeah, it's pretty standard. And no little doom guy here either. Sad. I haven't seen this skip before, actually. Yes, this skip's pretty illegal, Seth. Are you gonna call Whoa. the necro police on them? Wow. I think I'm you're gonna have to. Split. I think he yeah. might. Uh, he might have a conniption. <laughs> if he saw yeah. This. Yeah. Don't forget to call him on the oh wait, no one eight hundred five two two six six six. If that is a real number. Oh my gosh. What I is this? Eighty percent. My goodness. Like I said, call the Necro Police. <laughs> Don't worry, the Necro Police will be showing up soon enough and no, this, then I back do into know. the mount to pick the rifle up. Good old paperclip. Yep. Uh, I believe that they've right, this paperclip. Yep. yep. I believe the paperclip was found by. Seeker, wasn't it? I uh, don't was found by Seeker. This was okay. indeed. Shouts to Seeker. And thank you for making, making zero percent largely possible. Yeah. I played mini. Looks like Kaoma's through. Yeah, Kaoma's through. Yeah, Kaoma's through now. So we're heading All into right. Foundry. Do we have time for another donation? Let's yes, we do. Awesome. We got a six dollar and sixty six cent donation for Garden that said from Garden that says Team Kioma for the win. UAC hype. UAC so we got hype. A, we UAC got a hype. For, uh, Kioma. Do we have any any uh, Giga Chad donations for Mini Fish? Be sure to get those sent in uh, so we can uh, show some of the Mini Fish as well. I know they're pretty fantastic. Oh, Foundry. Say hi to Frank, everybody, and we are here at the first difficulty spike in the game. Hell Knights. And the introduction of combat rating. They just want to give you hey, a hug, Frank man, that's all. <laughs> they want to hug you with their fist and uh, their very, very powerful legs. Brother. If there was a demon that didn't skip leg day, it, it'd be <laughs> Hell Knights. You know who did skip so, leg day? Revenants. You know what many didn't skip then? The rocket launcher. You can actually go through that window without triggering the secret and pick up the rocket launcher early. Very useful tool. Yeah, I'm adjusted. And the uh, short circuits in the first fight are at the basement of the foundry. Now, this can be quite dangerous. If you get the chainsaw angle wrong on this imp, you will fall through the stairs. Yes, <laughs> I've done that before too. And you will be fighting all 12 zone. Old swell vimps and zombies and hellraisers at once. This fight does introduce the hellraiser. Some of these beams are very quick at catching you out and they do 65 HP of damage. He is largely regarded as a low risk, but that slap's never fun when you're on the receiving end. No, and given how squishy you already are, it's never, uh, never fun to take any extra damage. Every little bit counts. I see there was some tech on the uh, elevator there too. I haven't seen that before either. Yeah, if you get the jump right, you can pretty much skip 
save a few seconds by just landing straight on the bridge and go on to the next fight. Yeah, I like that. And then do a scroll jump over so you don't have to do all the platforming up to get the hand in the E3 moment. Yeah, he needs a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Funny joke! <laughs> Funny joke! Oh, man. Alright, second gore nest. Kicking ass good, and Kaomer is not far behind at all. Oh, this all is one comes death. In, in handy for this fight in particular because of how yep. uh, how easy it is to actually just nail them. There's not a whole lot of space where they can run off to. Yeah. And a few well placed bullets. Oh, how Razor was hiding on Kaomer there, and he's through. Good deal. Mini's already at the key fight where we're seeing the first possessed security on the board that these guys have noticed. Those guys are not a joke. Once they get their plasma shotgun on you, their DPS is higher than a Hell Knight. Watch out. Yeah, I hate those guys pretty pretty passionately. There was one change that I liked about Doom Eternal is that they actually gave you means to blow up the shield that wasn't a straight uh, gauss shot to the face. Correct. Chainsaw the Hell Knight. Moving and on. I'm going to rock it down the Hell Knight. Bang. And then pick up the BZ Plasma Plasma Gun. This is another one of your workhorses for Hell Knight killing. Treat as your quack as an Hell Gun and you can't go wrong. And in this corridor, kill soldiers, HK, then clean up the imps, jump through doorway, continue on. Fast as anything. You can tell it's the BZ plasma box because it says BZ on it. <laughs> I like it when games are simple like that. Well, this run is pretty complicated. It's best to make it as simple as you can. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Minnie's grabbing the blue key card. He'll be hopping down there shortly. Yeah. And KM was just starting the basement at that point, so he's only about 10 15 seconds behind. No, the runners are still neck and neck right now. There hasn't really been any major slip ups on either side. No. Which is good. It means both of them have been practicing for this. <laughs> yeah. And it's cool as well that the door actually opened for them because sometimes you walk up to that door, it just doesn't open. Yeah, the worst enemy in Doom actually isn't demons, did you know that? It's doors. Doors and geometry. So you can just get snagged on them at any time. Exactly. Oh, that Hell Knight hurt guys, a little bit. Yeah, both guys are opting to take out the Hell Knights after the fight. Vinny played a, a dangerous game there with uh, that particular position. He got hammered a little bit, but I think he'd be fine. Ooh, so did Kaoma. Goodness me. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> oh, Kaoma's gone. Spicy Hell Knights. I Very like the repositioning, spicy. though. Use the barrels. Okay, oh, Kaoma's in trouble here. Okay, and he's, he's off the rope. Change some down. You sure did. Good and now Kaom is... What were we just said about the doors being the tree bosses of doom? There you go. Sometimes <laughs> they just be that way. Goodness me. Yeah. Unfortunate. Now the important part is they both killed the Hell Knights and hit the next checkpoint because if you fail to kill both Hell Knights at the same time, they despawn. And then you have to start the level again. Because they don't have enough combat rating. Yeah. There's one thing we love in Doom, it's combat rating. Yep. Not combat itself, just the combat rating. Oh, no! Oh, Mini. That was unfortunate. Unlucky. Yeah. Hell no. I guess the, the runners are actually going to be a lot closer because Kaoma got stuck at the door 
with the uh, Hell Knights for a while, so they're actually uh, still neck and neck, I would say. Oh, yes. I mean, Minnie's and... time loss, maybe he may be a couple seconds behind now? Yeah. I don't think it's anything major, though. This fight usually doesn't take too long. About 1 minute 30 seconds clean. I'd say about 1 minute 10 with these lads. That rocket, man. It's the uh, Imp Destroyer. Probably the best weapon for him as you progress throughout the levels. Yeah. Or rifle. A couple Rifle's of... Rifle's good, too. Yeah. Now, KM is very hot with the rifle. It's like he played Counter-Strike Power Summit. Yeah, the tracking's clean so far, as well as the... Uh, I haven't seen the Gauss yet, but uh, I'm pretty excited to see when they... Uh, yeah, also a happy her. grenade. Happy oh. grenade. <laughs> yeah, runners oh, still neck and neck. Both going for the cutscene. Uh, we getting mime central here or nah? Yeah, we are getting the mimes. The run is being blessed. Zero, blessed run. Two. Oh, Elma's hey, got the animation. Oh. So yeah, as you can see, this is a very common occurrence on Deep Twenty Sixteen, where the scripting for this cutscene won't fully work. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like she's just like playing mime over here. She's not actually. <laughs> and while she's playing mime, this is a perfect spot for any donation calls, if there are any, sir. It's true. Are there any? You yeah, you bet. We uh, just want to let everybody know that we are still collecting donations from now until the end of the marathon, which is very quickly approaching. And we are collecting uh, donations for the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Uh, they are a national network of local crisis centers that provides free and confidential emotional support to people in suicidal crisis or emotional distress 24 hours a day, seven days a week in the United States. They're committed to improving crisis services and advancing suicide prevention by empowering individuals, advancing professional best practices, and building awareness. And exclamation point, donate in chat. We'll get you the link to donate to 988 Lifeline. We are still very, very close to hitting that $4,000 mark. We're only uh, $72 away from, from hitting that goal. So let's see if we can hit $4,000 before the end of the marathon. Oh, we're starting on the Argent facility. Yep, oh. Argent facility. Now the wind down or wind up after Foundry. Sammy ain't going to be happy with the runners during this one. No. So the runner cannot, cannot death from above glory kill a hell knight. Use the ultimate map in a secret, so that's easy to ignore, and ignore the rain trials. Not as much pressure as the other mission challenges, fortunately. Just a little bit of platforming at the start to make you nervous. I've actually died here before, honey, you in run. I've died plenty here before. Sometimes you <laughs> jump, the man's eaten. Yeah, sometimes, like, uh, I thought my jump was eaten, or I just, it was a uh, misinput, and I didn't actually hit it on the keyboard, but I, I have died there before, and it made me very sad. Get the imps back there. I've never actually seen that? this part, uh, this part done this way before, but it makes sense. Yep. To uh, spawn a... kill the imps there. Yeah, many spawning in, in the imps three at a time, which is a very efficient way of killing them all. Meanwhile, Kaon is just using the rifle and going to work on the on the fight where the imps are flanking him. Yeah. And then the Hell Knight comes and just disappears like that, and so does that last imp, and they get an ammo refill. That sweet, sweet ammo so precious on this run like yeah every little scrap you can get a hold of is going to count for something could be the difference between life and death yeah and it's good that the imps weren't waiting around the corner because that's happened plenty for me you just come yeah. around that box and then you walk you straight into a 75 hp fireball the imps are still the final boss man no one will ever yeah. change my mind on that piece I think more runs have been uh, destroyed by imps than any other enemy in the game. Yeah. And I don't just mean speed runs, I mean for everybody running Nightmare or Ultra Nightmare. Imps are still probably the number one cause of death. Yeah. 
Now, for me, for late game, I would say there is a competitor for that, especially for my experience as Aero. The pinky. Really? Pinky? Yeah. Yeah. Mind well, if I cut in again real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we got a $71 donation from a tall shade of the color red with the comment, let's make it a bit easier. That puts us at $3,999. It would take $1 to put us at 4,000 people. $1 is all it would take. Let's make it happen. Nice. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Unlimited power. Do it. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Is that another donation that just came in? I think we just hit 4,024. That's yep. exactly what just happened. Fairy Cat donated $25, said $12 for the rips, $12 for the tears, $1 for the dangerous sick chair dance moves during his FPS run earlier. <laughs> Thank you so much, Fairy Cat. That puts us well, at $4,024 over uh, for 988 Crisis, uh, Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Thank you all so much. Now, can we hit 5,000 before the end of this run? We only have nine levels left after this can we do it can we hit 5,000 before the end of the marathon let's make it happen people all right that, well, that 4,000 came and went pretty fast didn't we start off at like uh 3,300 3,200 at the beginning of the run something so, like yeah. that yeah we, we were in like yeah. the, the high 33,000s and, and now we're already over 4,000 incredible work dang it's that voice of yours Bry. it's what's allowing this to happen i just love no, uh, i love this commentary Nah, it's the absolutely hyper play that's going on here between these two juggers. I agree. Like this is this is really uh, really fun to watch so far. It's been a while since I've seen a zero percent run all the way through, and it's absolutely neck and neck. Mechanically, both of these players are really really good. Supremely. Their strategy hasn't really been put to the test yet, but it will come into uh, to practice a lot later when the fights start getting bigger. Yeah, and they get bigger. Now, normally with Doom's White 16, the difficulty just kind of pieces off after Cadingir once you get access to the Gauss Rifle and Siege Mod. There's no Siege Mod in this run. Are you trying to tell me that Siege Mode is broken? <laughs> no, I'm not trying to say that at all. It's fun. This is different. <laughs> it's fun, i.e. not broken. <laughs> That's what that means. Yeah. Please don't <laughs> Yeah, please don't fix. Oh my gosh. You see, it's a, it's a feature if it helps me. It's a bug if it hurts me. And that hey. normally works. Hey, one of the best videos I've ever seen was uh from Irina's streams of her getting hold of it going bap 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 bap. <laughs> yeah, unlimited ammo with that is probably one of the most broken mechanics of this game on 100%. I mean, you're basically so, yeah. a steamroller at that point. Yeah, so they both triggered the gore nest and then they ran into hydroponics room and they've just kind of ran straight for it to here, apart from yeah. killing the... killing the Chainsawing. hell knife in the right? Chainsawing that summoner makes this fight way easier. Just Very much so. Summoners are a serious bane of 0%. Oh yeah, I'm I mean, there. they... Sp I mean, ammo's already precious, and you're having to, like, waste more? Uh, never yeah. a good thing. However, once you get to Cadingir, they become a bit more of a triviality, because you can just easily, uh... Burst them down, yeah, he can burst them down a lot easier. One light rotation, take them out. I like that grenade toss there, that was pretty dope. You know, I don't use a whole lot of speedrunner tech, but I have used this little uh, skip along the ledge here to jump over that yes. fence quite a lot. Yeah, saves about 20, 30 seconds from what I remember, right? It just makes me feel cool too, you know, like, <laughs> look, I did a speedrunner thing. <laughs> Speaking of cool, grab the berserk, rip it, uh, point and click until it's done point and it click it is a point and click adventure oh. and i do want to say that uh doom eternal was severely lacking in uh berserk glory kills i was very disappointed yeah they kept them to one fight but one fight well there was only like one animation per enemy which is also pretty pretty disheartening i could have sworn there are a couple more especially on the prowlers where you, they get ripped apart I think there's two or three for the Prowlers, but for most of the other enemies, I think there's just like one, right? With like the head squish and then the uh, 
Mancubus one. I think there's only one for them too. You have no idea what you have, you have no idea what you've just done. You've upset Microsoft Sam. He will be thinking about installing a Windows update on your rig soon. <laughs> Probably in the middle of the run, because he's nasty like about your frame rate. <laughs> Mind if I jump in here with one more? Let's do it. Please do. Yeah, we got a $76 donation from, I'm probably going to say this wrong, and I'm sorry in advance, I believe it's Sync Cadge. If I'm saying that wrong, please let me know. Uh, they donated with a comment, how about 4100 And that does put us at 4100 We are marching quickly to 5000 already. It feels like we just started. Let's get it to 5000 by the end of this run, people. Thank you so much. Absolute monsters out there. Let's go. Arden Tower. I love this level, by the way. Just Same. I don't so know, the enemies, the design, the atmosphere, <laughs> perfection. Yeah. So the biggest challenge concern is not to kill glory, hit, glory kill him from behind. No quad damage usage. The secret challenge is foot redundant, fortunately. And while well, Papa Scale went straight back to hell, there cleaned out quick by the pair of them. Clear out soldiers, engineers, and chainsaw second skeleton. Good movement. Good movement yep. so far. Quick clean. Made the door open. Now it's time for some Nightcare Max 2150s. Now Kaoma is no longer the world's weakest Brazilian male, for now he can double jump. His oh. memory's broken, the truth goes unspoken, he's even forgotten his name. Have you oh played Metal gosh. Gear Rising Seven? <laughs> I have seen people play Metal Gear Rising. I've never actually played. Oh, you're in for a day of the life of a true Brazilian geezer here. Oh goodness! <laughs> I the platform and double jump like a madman. They say the top route because there's a Hell Knight up there and a bit more combat rating than just burning through the ends. Yep. Combat rating is fairly important for this map too because you can screw it up. Um, yeah. If you don't get a few extra Hell Knights or uh, Revenants to murder. Which is why that last fight's so important, too. Yeah. And they're both coming towards the cutscene with Olivia. Oh, hearing her bicycle pump. Wow. Yep. Yeah. And the accumulator. Would it be a bicycle pump of doom? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it just involves the streets of hell trip. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, what would a hell bike look like though in this game? That's a good question. Meanwhile, hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my double barrel girl. Your super shotgun beautiful weapon so good it's got super in the name so good that it has two oh. barrels instead of one yeah both barrels for you yeah naughty boy so when the next doom game comes out we're getting I mean, one barrel right unfortunately kaoma isn't because sometimes if i with the summoners they, they either can cooperate with you or they go and do this stuff yeah, they're a little, uh, they're a little elusive sometimes. Yeah. There's no other enemies in the game who move like that, from what I remember. Oh, so no. Behind you, nothing personnel, kid. Yeah. Take it away, my Gordon. Nice recovery, Kama. I like that 180 rocket. Beautiful. Good stuff so far. Meanwhile, Mini Fish is called for the belly dancers. <laughs> the belly dancers, that what you call them? Yeah. Yeah. The, I blame Bios. Look for that one, my friend. Oh, really? So, yeah. They can be burned down pretty quick. Free rockets, a, a dump of plasma into the chest, and then super shotguns to finish. About four of them in the a lot to finish off enemies in zero percent in particular. Oh, yes, this, uh, it's the only gun that doesn't have like a quote unquote modifier. I mean, there's things you can do to upgrade it, but there is no like mods that you put on the super shotgun. It just it is what it is, it does its work. 
and it does it good. And I do remember this piece of tech. Our mini is going for the banana skip, which shall skip a chunk of the fight and you can rain some death down on the imps that are trying to shoot at you. A little extra combat rating there. Yeah. Good deal. It saves about a good 30 seconds because end of the fight, nobody wants to go running for imps. No. And then it's trying to orientate yourself for getting which lift is coming down quickest. Yes. <laughs> no fun. There we go. Okay, I'm just standing there. No! Go on, oh, get back boy. up there, my man. And then there was an uncooperative Hell Knight just waiting. Like a bad itch. I'm watching you. The hell Ooh, bro. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So Minnie's already on the mi middle fight. Gotta, Gotta grab kill the that invincibility, yep. Going to town, probably just gonna rock at the Hell Knight in the face, yep. Always worth picking up the invincibility on this fight, otherwise, well, I often run into stupid moments. I lost an Ultra Nightmare moment. Yeah, without the gas cannon, the revenants, revenants are kind of annoying. Cause they just jump around and your rockets don't always land when they're flying. Unless you're just, you know, a god at the game and can nail mid-air rockets all the time. Uh, and then ooh. there's the Ma Michael Jordan cosplays the whole nice. Did you see that one go past Vinny then? My yeah, god. Yeah, I did. Brother. All right, let's little him. Get him out of there. Good stuff. Runners are still pretty close. Time difference, what do you think? Like a minute? Minute and a half? 30, 40 seconds tops. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. There's still a lot of race to be had. And you going so to... both have actually had one death apiece now, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Many utilizing the moment to get the chainsaw fuel. Wise for the stuff that's coming up, especially with him doing the lift skip. Pass down there. Avoid the secret lever. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this. Cause this does take quite a while to uh, circle all the way around the little... I don't even know what those things are. Uh, the imps are spawning up there and they can slow you down quite a bit if you have to like uh, deal with them as they spawn so far away. Yeah, no mates, a rifle scope down, but... Mega well. health here? Yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah, this is one of the few mega healths in the run that you are actually able to collect. It will come in handy for the next firefight for sure, and Cabinger. And with them taking the skip that they just did, the lift for the next part doesn't yep. spawn. So you see our minis now where there's no actual lift there, but there's a bunch of four objectives he's meant to destroy. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of Olivia, there she is. Oh, she activated her secret move, the bicycle pump. Yep. But where's the tire? It must be in hell. Any road, time to go to work. Heavy killing in Max until the screen turns white. Can be quite intense with the amount of CR you need to farm. I'm actually pretty curious to see when both of these players pick up the invincibility for this fight because they should pick it up at some point, but they're probably trying to save it for the end when the uh, heavy hitter starts spawning yeah, in. Yeah. Yeah. I've always wondered, is it Mancubus or Mancubus or Mancubus? I think it would be Mancubus, right? I don't know. Well, not necessarily because octopus is octopuses, right? Not octopi. You wouldn't say octopi ever. That's not a thing. No. I I, what? No, that's not. 
Dane would probably know he's a teacher, isn't he? I, I, I wouldn't it say is, that either. It is in fact Dane. Occupy, Octopi, yes. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> yes, the, the, typically the plural is, is any kind of uh, word that ends in U.S. You typically replace the U.S. with I. Yeah, so it'd be Mancubi. Man, it Not is Mancubi. Mancubi, yeah. Succubi, Octopi, yeah. Sucky, wait. Succubi, Succubi brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> oh, man. Do we have any more dodos, by the way? We we good to go? <laughs> we, I can just uh, remind everybody that we are... Uh, the, the organization running this uh, event is the Modern Doom Speedrunning Discord. Established in 2016, we house the speedrun communities for each of the Modern Doom games since the 2016 reboot, the game you're watching right now. This includes this game, Doom 2016, Doom VFR, Doom Eternal, and most recently, Mighty Doom. The MDSR community welcomes any and all newcomers who would like to learn to speedrun any of these titles. We have lots of tutorials and resources for anyone who would like to get started. And links to join the Discord are in the panels down below. We we're on the Cadinger, brother. Yeah, we are on to Cadinger, and Kaelm is just starting Cadinger as well. Neck and neck. Yeah, you're Supreme. right. It's, it was it was thirty seconds. I was way off. My favorite level, especially after seeing that infamous Clockner video. Normally, <laughs> the game starts getting easier on normal runs because of the Gauss weapon. The Gauss Gauss is now your Gauss zero is love. Gauss is life. <laughs> yeah. I love the way it sounds. The main source so of design. enjoyments of this tier are now in the player's hands. I mean, there's a reason the railgun's a favorite by Quake players. This is basically the railgun, but for Doom. Yeah, supremely. It's like and now, I mean, he's going to work with the rockets. Yeah, and you can't, uh, no, no, no leg sweeps on any Hellraisers here. He's just yep. trying to shotgun him down as fast as he can. So, glory nope. kills are probably a big no-no anyway, but especially on this level. Chainsaw kills are perfectly fine. Yeah, but uh, no standard, you know, brutalizing of Hellraisers, unfortunately. The most important part is not to pick up the power ups because if you pick up invincibility and get a kill, that's it. <laughs> Did you see that Hell Knight face fly? He went fly pretty good. <laughs> the, the ragdolls in this game have always made me laugh. But that was, that was yeah. a good one. Someone could clip that. I want to see that later, if you wouldn't mind. That'd be... <laughs> oh, nice attack. I like that. Could you imagine if this game had rocket jumping, too? <laughs> that would be nice. Taking less damage off your own rockets. Yeah. Rocket delivery think... served up here like FedEx. The imps didn't stand a chance spawning in so. <laughs> Shout out to Red Warrior for pioneering, leaving the other skull key behind as someone figured the next fight can be avoided. By gassing off the top of the stairs and around, you can get the scripts enough to short circuit the level a little. I believe it was Bite who found this part, but I might be wrong. Shout outs to the family man that is Bite me. He still it's leaves actually, from the uh, farm. It was actually Lux that found uh, the fact that you could, you could short circuit that. Yep. And then we ended up uh, using that, ended up being incorporated into uh, both 100% categories. Nice. Oh, thank you. I didn't Shout know it looks. Shout out to Lux. Well found. Anyway, yeah. But it's still limbs, limbs from afar, busy with work and family life. Swell guy. So that's a few minutes saved, and onward, and the Kako introduction. Less damage than a Mank, one rocket, one Gauss Beam, one SSG, then a shotgun or a few bullets to finish. Resist the allure of the quad damage, then use the blue skill to open the door. But first, there's just a few revenants in so, the Manky position. Honest opinion, this isn't necessarily speed run related, but what's your favorite arena from this map in particular? Because there's quite a few. The end arena. The end arena? Yeah. The end arena. It's pretty, pretty common. It's my favorite as well. I'm just curious because there are a lot of unique encounters that are kind of, you don't really see anything like that until you reach this particular level. I mean, this is the first time you actually meet uh, Kakademons too. And it wouldn't be a 0% run without a yellow skull joke. I mean, That's... it's a classic. That's still... It is a classic. You gotta respect the classics. I mean, even Red made memes about it when he held yeah. up the sign when he did his race. 
That revenant that refused to eat rocket damage. Yeah. There's an ammo crate up here though, so that should help out quite a lot. I'm on Kiyoma's POV, by the way. Well, that's the introduction of the Lost Souls out of the way for both of them. Now Minnie's going to Gauss jump right bang. Both are, uh, both are still pretty close right now. I would, uh, one error from either side, and this gap's gonna grow by quite a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's 30 it's seconds doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is. Um, a 30 second or so gap between over 40 minutes, that's incredible. Yeah. Is that how far we're in right now? 40? Yeah, 41 minutes. I guess jump to get up there. Nice. This fight can really, really screw you up. Oh yes. The spawn order is a little screwy. Screw me up. Lensy this one. Yeah. Another time you'll just do it without taking a hit. Yeah, one hundred percent. You don't really need to worry about it because you have mods to like just burn down some of these enemies. But um, on zero percent, like your positioning has to be pretty on point here, as well as your ammo usage, because you're already going to be pretty low. There's some pretty beefy enemies in this arena. And minis at the Baron's, the Baron of Fun. Baron of Fun. Oh Not yeah. Baron of Fun. Baron mm. of Fun. Not oh yeah. Confused. No the barons can be uh, just as bad as Hell Knights for the jumping in this fight, so you I really mean, if there was, really uh, bad. if Hell Knights didn't skip leg day, I'm pretty sure that, uh, barons are pretty roided out of their minds, to be honest with you. That chain, that's someone that just walks into that chain, so I nearly said that the other way around. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, that chainsaw really walks into that summon a good one. What's so a chainsaw works? walks into a bar. <laughs> uh, okay, I was about to move on to the Baron fight now too. Good deal. Yeah. Minnie's gonna grab that gas. Start pushing up. Get rid of this last Baron. He's on to the next section. He's on to uh, this last little platform. Then he's on to the final arena. Yep. Is it bad to say here that when I'm doing like 100% uh, runs that I still haven't had like the plasma rifle fully upgraded and this is the level I normally do it? No, I don't think that's bad at all. Because of course you're no. probably prioritizing remote debt and SSG and... Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially if I'm doing Ultra Nightmare. So I, I, I'll play the games, but uh, with the, like the you know 0% or 100% criteria, but I don't actually speed run it. So, um, I take my time and I'm allowed to like think about things. Or so these guys, they just gotta keep going. And you know, decisions come what may, they gotta make it work regardless. Which I've always found pretty impressive. Alright. And um, as many guys come back right and these all fight for the rest of the level. Not why there was a problem. Definitely under control, my guy. Everything is under control. Famous last words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like I the, the camera shake. No. Nope. <laughs> I, love, I love the camera shake to make sure that he wasn't seeing double or something. <laughs> I've done that a lot when, uh, if I'm playing Quake or something, I can't hit like the same guy four times in a row and like. Yeah. Is it me or is it the mouse? Like, what's going on here? If it was Compensator's curse, I do apologize. Yeah, I guess it's all our fault, really. We said all right, so Minis entering the final arena, and it starts with application of rockets. Rockets. Super shotgun. Mantle up. Super shotgun. Hell Knights come running at him. Super shotgun. Oh, no, he's changing just to muck with us. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to throw off your commentator's curse, bro. He's gotta, you gotta keep oh, you on your toes. Oh yeah. 
This is why you don't write scripts. <laughs> Anything can happen. Hey man, we're doing it live. We're winging this, okay? Yeah. yeah. These guys are winging it too, because my goodness, uh, they are flying through, uh, yep. through Kettinger. It's an imp somewhere. There's always an imp. Now the Mighty Basil starts. Final boss, going. man. Not necessarily because they can damage you. <laughs> because they can delay your run by uh, seconds, sometimes even yeah. a minute, if you can't find that last little imp hiding in the arena. And now the Barons have showed up. Baron Ranch really rocks, brother. Did you say Baron Ranch? Yeah, Baron Ranch. <laughs> Baron Ranch. Yeah, it's where Baron Bomb Roots are the nights out. Oh my goodness. Home, home Ranch, brother. I didn't know there was a Baron Ranch, but now I kind of don't want to go. You don't. I don't feel like I want to go there at all. It's like a Baron really Ranch. bad time. I all bet right, this Minnie's is the low. Yeah, Minnie's the low. is on the Manky by The final the Barons. Right. Um, yeah, he's on the Manky Barons now. Yeah. And clear. The very fine detail between them both. They're doing brilliantly. Now it's time for AFD. Now this one. Oh boy. Ammo. People reckon this is the jump off point of this. You cannot chainsaw this level, nor can you shoot a mid air revenant or collect files. Easiest level to hit restart. Gauss boost up. There'll be Gauss boosting soon enough. Yeah. I don't want to talk about Skeet Shot, but the first revenant doesn't count on its spawn point, apparently. Fortunately, as well, there's three ammo boxes in the run point, so ammo isn't as bad as long as you manage it, okay? And with these guys and the rain being on point, they'll be fine. Just hit your shots. Easy. Oh, wow, the the game is infinitely easier when you're hitting your shots. True. Successful Gauss boosting. You love to see it. Yep. This was the level that you uh, discovered the uh, summoner could also, in fact, summon the uh, <laughs> cyber demon wall from a fight that doesn't even happen to like three or four levels from now. I still don't understand how that happened. I will never uh, understand. That. Did Did you ever put that on Twitter? Did you ever get a response on that? I uh, know. I was I was meant to tweet a couple of people if. if was this intentional or some sort? I mean, of obviously, behavior? it's in the code somewhere. If it popped up, it's just. It's funny that over how many years uh, we've been playing this game, maybe someone else has encountered it, but you're the first one to have it uh, recorded, I think. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So yeah, best way to deal with the Revenants is either the rocket, well, the, the free hit combo with the rocket, the Gauss, the SSG, or the safer option, which is one Gauss blast and then SSG to face. Which puts him stagger and then you can glory kill or just shotgun them. Yeah. I think I've screwed up Skeet Shot here more than any of the other criteria. It's there's a reason why on my splits it's called it's Skeet Shot O'Clock. <laughs> it's Skeet Shot O'Clock. <laughs> Brother. Yeah. It's oh, so yes. common. Let me summon some cyber demon walls. Yeah. Cause that makes sense. The scariest part about the skeet shot is it can even happen before the guy's taken off. I saw that happen to Tricky Dog on an Ultra Nightmare Run. Really? Yeah. On an Ultra Nightmare Run? On an Ultra Nightmare Run. That guy fell oh. for so many memes. That is a yikes. You want to tell me about this, uh, why uh, both players are going to be farming Hell Knights here? Right, so essentially the farming, enough combat rating to be at the end of this firefight. Two and two com two circles and about 10% of the third one, which roughly equates to about six Hell Knights. And that's why yeah. they're killing him. And so they can skip a bunch of firefights. And they both look like they've done it great. Both are because otherwise the other firefights have, have more time. Which is a shame that we aren't adding more Sabo, because I love this tune, Transistor Fist. <laughs> it's a pretty good track. Yeah. And they're both wrapping it up at the same time. So yeah, and then... Oh, another the Mega? Yep. Drown, and then drop down, grab the Mega. 
Health and Sound armor good. are precious in this run, nope. so take advantage nope. of- Ooh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> A little bit of a mantle issue there. Didn't actually connect for some reason. That's <laughs> what Mitty's face too. Yeah, I don't understand that either, why they didn't actually register. Now, it's time with Kaoma for the pink traduction. These guys are one of the most cooked enemies at 0%. Anywhere up to 125 HP damage. And sometimes the weak spot. Weak spot hits don't connect. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty fantastic what you say. He just wants to hug you, man, with his teeth. Yeah. And sometimes the timing on the double jump can really, really screw players up yeah. here because um, one one hit does how much damage again? It can on the charge 125. 125. The others, the others are around 100. Huh? Say goodbye to your mega health if you get hit by one of those. Yeah. And that's why I regard them as more dangerous than the imps in dinner. Yeah. I've actually don't mind the uh, the specters as much as the regular pinkies since they're squishier. I can typically burst them down a lot easier. Even if you shoot them from the front, they die a lot faster. Yeah. Quad damage on this arena because the normally low oh, ammo. Oh, the shotgun yeah. there is rough. No gauss either. He just got a <laughs> machine got him from the back. There's that ammo oh. that we talked about. It is rough out here. Yeah. He is living off of scraps right now. Minnie is having to scrounge around for whatever ammo he can find. Fortunately, yeah. the uh, enemies are giving him a, a little bit to work with. Made that fight yeah. a little bit easier. Kama is actually already on the next section. Yep. When did that happen? I was uh, I was on one POV. It was. Uh, I don't know, did that pinky Pink. fight take many a little longer? It was the basement fight. It was the basement, basement fight. fight with the summoner. Okay. So, yeah, one note about. Ooh, nice gauss save there, Kaoma. Oh, <laughs> I just saw that. Oh, that was wild. Unfortunately, under that, you get more gauss ammo. Now the trick is to Gauss boost into the Gauss ammo. Yeah. The Red Warrior Special. The Red Warrior Special. I didn't notice it until I remember Klockner pointing it out that he does it all the time here. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, Gauss Rifle, the leading shield guy since, I guess, when this game came out. Hmm. It is probably the best tool against them. Period. Yeah. Instead of a rocket and then a few bullets on either side. Oh, that ammo is rough this stage. Both players. Oh yeah. Are chewing through it all. So many tanky enemies on this level. Well, four gauss. Then those rockets should be enough for the Baron. There we go. Good deal. There's another ammo crate up here. It's actually a couple ammo crates up here. Ooh. I'm glad he didn't try glory killing that engineer. I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my armor gun? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he, uh... I remember the first time I tried to glory kill an engineer. He got my face blown off. Like, wow, wow, look at this little wimpy dude. I'm gonna glory kill. Oh! And yeah, I didn't end so well. I my box, which covers you for the rest of the level, really? Revenant one down, one more Revenant for Kaoma. Both fighters are uh, managing resources pretty well here. I like the weapon mm -hmm. switching. Um, that by and large, I've noticed both of them are swapping to weapons that probably have more ammo. Oh, uh, well. On instinct, for a lot of players out there, it's pretty common to just to switch to the sh super shotgun, the rocket launcher, or the gauss rifle. When in reality, since those are the three you've probably been defaulting to, you're probably not going to have any ammo left in there. So, huh. switching to the uh, minigun 
Or chain gun, I should say. It's not actually a chain gun, but we call it a chain gun. <laughs> and then the, uh, the assault rifle. All your work and discoveries here belong to me. Yeah, Sam's really gonna drop on us a Windows update. He's a jerk. And that's the train fight over. Good deal. And both players are still pretty neck and neck right now. Yeah. neck and neck. I mean, he's so close, he could probably smell him. Yeah. <laughs> I can smell you. From Ooh, here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm walking camera in time. <laughs> oh, man. What am I watching I'm... right now? What is he doing to that poor chainsaw to the train? Well, nothing else you can do at this in particular moment. And he hasn't got ammunition to waste. Well, look at them both doing the same thing. Oh, hi, hello. Bye, hello. Oh. <laughs> what was that? I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh my gosh, I uh, I like that. You just like punch him, and then he just falls through the train. Is that how that works? Uh, no, it's the hologram was glued to one position that seems to have been outside the train. <laughs> ah. So, Ark the Complex. Meetings with Sammy. No glory coming from behind zombies. Other challenges involve interacting with rune trials and secrets. Last hey, risk. Oh, bigger sweat. <laughs> and bigger BFG hits soon. You know what that, uh, that imp walking outside that window reminded me of when, uh, when Kaoma was watching it? like the pizza delivery guy seeing me staring at him as he comes up my front steps. <laughs> <laughs> so, all the combat rating is tied to being next to the gore nests on this one, so it can be a little bit spicy. But these guys are trained professionals, so they'll be fine. That imp did not want to die, oh my goodness. back over here for a little bit. Oh man, this is super close now, actually. Yeah. I think the gap's even closer than it was before. Yes. The neck and neck. You love to see it. So yeah, chainsaw oh. out after killing the monkey busses. Uh, monkey bye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make day come here and correct you. He said monkey bye. Ooh. Where's the hell nice? Oh, the... What's he doing? So the trick with the fight on this one is to chainsaw the hell nice to then it slightly delays the launch of the summoner in the Rassi arena fight. Maybe this is new tech I'm unaware of, because he's just bursting them down right now. Maybe saving the chainsaw? Yeah? I thought he was about to use it on the summoner. Apparently not. What? <laughs> what just happened? Unintentional rail boost? Oh yeah. Unexpected rail boost. Common in this fight. Points and click. Points and click. Oh boy. Am I about to yeah. see some, some yes. tech here, sir? Like oh, I no. said. What is this? Have you called the Necro Police yet? I mean, do I have to call him again? Yeah, the fight's over. Now it's time for Windows update, but instead the runners here are making a beeline for a window out the arena. Oh, it has to be perfect the landing into here, or the CA combat rating for first arena won't count. Really? And there we go. The torrenting works. Take that, Microsoft Sam. <laughs> 
and now the VR Mancubus. All the haptic karma to make your life a little more miserable. What do you think he's watching through that VR helmet of his? I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't want to know. I mean, we could probably make a guess. It's well, probably, probably, something like, probably, probably something like... Probably something like Pyroland. Pyroland. <laughs> yeah, you remember Pyroland of the uh, Meet the Pyro. Of I, I've never... Exhibits. I don't think I have. I'll have to show you after the. Uh, I'll have to show oh. you after the thing. It'll be. It's pretty funny. I don't think I've heard of that one before. Is gamer VR headset? And Kaom has got lucky with the door being open, and he's able to just run straight through the cavern. Now is another spot where I've lost UN runs. I have actually died here as well, to this exact spot. <laughs> and in true troll fashion, it isn't open for many. Typical, eh? Typical. Just little things, too. Like that. Um, and we're, like, right on pace. Yeah. These pl <laughs> these players are within seconds of each other. Like I th I'd say it's less than ten seconds now. What do you think? About that, I didn't know those soldiers were only one headshot off being killed. All right. Yeah, for some reason, so some soldiers I here are like Peters. super super squishy. Where does he keep that torso, by the way? That's a good question. Does he just like strap it to his belt, or does he like wear it like a backpack? Does he like wrap the Anyways, arms around his neck and tie, and, oh, tie and, it like a little pretzel? There we go, Cam has landed the BFG skip. So he's just saved himself a good 30 40 seconds. Yeah, looks like uh, both players are able to pull it up oh, without a hitch. Wow. Well, good done, deal. well done. I always wondered why they added more explosive barrels in here when they all died of the BFG shot anyway. It's just for like, added effect. <laughs> Make sure the zombies are extra dead. I'm saying it's for added effects. Because of course, check out this BFG you've just acquired. Pow. Big booms everywhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the barrels that actually kill all of them though. Oh, here we go. This fight has ended me quite a few times on 0%. Yeah. All about killing those Hell Knights as quickly as possible to get the rest of the arena going. Now, my question is, are they, are they both a little short on combat rating? It looks here a little. But then again... Um, yeah, maybe... Maybe a bit. I would say a lot, though. It may be on pace for this. Again, they'll be probably okay because some of this just spawn stuff. Oh, that ammo's coming into play here again. Yep. I get that instinctive move just to switch to the gas as soon as you see shield guys. All I see is red when I see them. Other than Imps, they're probably one of my least favorite enemies in the game. Alright, Baron time. Yep. I think they're both good on combat rating. Not so sure on camera. Could be fine. I think Kayama should be fine. Mini's done. Okay, I'm just short. Rock it yourself oh. quick or something. Oh no. Or just low checkpoint. Oh no. Yeah, he's gonna have to spawn a couple of things off the summoner. And then do the BFG tricks. 
That's gonna be a, a pretty big time gap now. It depends on what happens in Lazarus for Mini. Lazarus yeah, is full. Lazarus is probably, full. uh, I don't know, full man, which it's like the, the second hardest in the game for this run, other than dinner. Supremely. It's yeah. where dreams go to die, ruining her in many runs, spawn her in many memes, tricky dogs play run. <laughs> Limited chainsaw fuel, no G. Glory killing soldiers are razors and BFG usage is contained to a knife edge. Mini is now entering the tunnel of love. You know it's a tunnel of love, there's just a pinky waiting at the end to ruin your HP stack. Only best to keep baiting oh, out when that is charging. Yeah, he that keeps hurts. the hard back away. Yeah, you got a little headbutt there. So I'm curious if these bonos are actually going to grab the Mega. There's a time to grab the Mega, and it's actually in the middle of the fight. You're right, because you're going to be up on that platform. You can double jump and grab it without triggering the secret, so it shouldn't count. Yeah. Uh, good old imps in this fight like are, hey, you want to win the game? Too bad. Yeah, camera looks fine for CR now. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this this fight is literally hell breaks loose. I have seen this run on this particular level either go like off without a hitch, like there are no errors, or like something just you know goes wrong, and then the rest of the level is just pure yeah. chaos. Yeah. It's I'm like still a... Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I'm still traumatized from this level and uh, Slays for Charity where I got stuck in it for how long? About 15, 20 minutes? Oh, Mini might... Mini's always on one health there. Did you see that? Yeah. One HP in the dream. Find the helix stone in Olivia's private archival Those imps. <laughs> Those imps. You have ever seen the stone. How much did the scratches do? You remember? Is it like 20 or 30? Oh, but they're fast. It's like the, uh... I forget the name of it. The gargoyle in the Eternal. Yeah. Supremely so. Now, unfortunately for many, he's just lost all his stack, which is critical handy yes. for the next fire fight, but with it being mini, mini will come through fine, I firmly believe. I say hello to the cyber demon. Yeah. Now mini's just picked up the last chainsaw fuel until the final fire fight, so he does have to be a bit mindful of his ammo, but he'll be fine. But the next next fire fight's the one that will test it. Yeah. This next fight is I don't know, man. The third? I'd I'd oh, say at least top three. three. Mm -hmm. Top three in terms of difficulty for this run in the game. As long as I've got the stack normally, I'm perfectly fine with it. Okay, I was making good progress too. Yep. Oh, yeah, I remember this back wall very well from when I was clearing this room out on my Ultra Nightmare runs. Good spot. Oh, uh, good old quad damage. It means I could just rocket the shield, dudes. Yeah. Pulled out the moment that the uh, monkey bis monkey by spawn, and then, brilliant for, <laughs> and then brilliant for one shot in shots in the. Uh, gonna, oh, nice. gonna make me laugh now. Yeah. <laughs> when I think monkey buses, I think of like 
with him like driving like a school bus and he's got like all like the little like zombies and imps that he's like driving to school or something. Kind of like Revenant. Yeah, yeah kinda like that. Like, uh... I will play. My guy. I I absolutely hate this fight. This pinky fight is awful. Yeah. But you do have haste, and you've got access to two hologram. Well, you should have access to one hologram at the start, and then a second one. And there's yeah. also a mech there. And if you time it right, you can just BFG clear. It's pretty much free because there's a BFG coming up in the next before the pipe fight. Right. Halfway mark here for uh, Mini. Kaoma's not too far behind now. Oh. The... My, my game crashed. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I can't exit out of it! Oh, oh no! Max uh, friends off. Yeah, Mini's game crashed. Oh my god. Um. Unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> it's not letting me get out of it! Tell me when you get back. <laughs> Perpetually uh, stuck. Uh, I'll, oh just, my I'll God. just wait. I, I think my PC is fucking soft locked. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Please control, alt he... delete, please work. Oh, n oh, I'm getting golds on all my splits. This isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's id, id underscore max underscore frame underscore buffers from the curse of alt sapping too much while you're running anything oh. else in the background. Oh my God, why can't I? Oh, uh, well, since we're work. waiting for the crash to uh, be resolved, do we have time for a donation? <laughs> oh, yeah. Forget it, man. <laughs> we, we got a $6.66 donation from Anonymous with no comment, no problem at all. Thank you very much, Anonymous, our favorite donator. Uh, and we are still uh, quite a ways away from 5000 but uh, depending on how long it takes for this crash issue to be resolved, we may have more time. We may be extending the marathon a little bit more uh, based on on Mini Fish's computer, so be sure to get your donations in so we can hit that five thousand dollar mark. It's it's soft like my PC. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I uh, I I actually cannot even shut it off. <laughs> oh my god! Dude. All right, all right. Like, out of all the time, I mean, do you, is this like a hard restart on everything? Oh, like, oh yeah, no, I, I, I can't exit out of Doom at all. Wow. Um, it's not pulling up my task manager. It's not letting me control alt delete. You know. Oh wait. Oh. Uh. Um. Try, try pressing after it. Calling up task manager D and then and press delete on the keyboard and then enter. It's saying that the only task that is running is task manager right now. <laughs> oh my god. What happened, PC? Come on. <laughs> the curse. It was waiting until you were running live, and then it decided to uh, oh rip. Meanwhile, do you want to see a reload animation? <laughs> I I can I can come back and restart my PC in like a second. All right, I'm reloading. If that works for well, other people. Here when what the? Uh, right. <laughs> <I'll be back. laughs> what is that? What is that? Yeah. All right. So, Mini, you yeah. can go ahead and restart your PC. Uh, in the meantime, on I it. can tell more Doom jokes. I mean, by all means. All right. Them, share them. All right. What do you call a big fat demon chef? Well, I don't know what. A pancubus. Uh, uh... <laughs> I was expecting you to say cucubus or something. What do you call a big fat demon season ticket holder? What's that? A fancubus. Ah. Uh... 
What do you oh, call a big much. fat demon network technician? What? what? A lancubus. Lancubus. <laughs> a a lancubus. What? What do you call a big fat demon grandma? What? Grandma. A nancubus. Uh, a small part of me is dying. <laughs> what do you call joke. a What do you call a big fat demon who has there been out go. in the sun? Oh, come on, okay, I almost reloaded the BF. I don't know. What do you call it? A, a tancubus. <laughs> what do you call a big fat demon that runs a ride sharing business? Dude, please. <laughs> a vancubus. Vancubus. <laughs> please. <laughs> you know what? Here we go. I'm gonna crack a couple. Brace yourself. Two peanuts are walking down a road. One was assaulted. Oh, ha ha. <laughs> yeah, I know, Liz. No, reboot faster, please, PC. Save us from the hey, terrible uh, what What's a skeleton's favorite snack? Spare ribs. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I got another one. What do you call a big fat demon who is an artist? What do you call it? A man cubist. Goodness <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm slowly losing my mind. Listen these jokes this. are honestly like it's not very hard to make these jokes. These jokes are dead simple. Yeah, yeah speaking of anger, we're not in Necropolis yet, so the dead simple puns. Uh... I like right, the like shotgun shells okay. into the BFG. That's pretty fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Spasmodic <laughs> DM'd me one that I have to read out loud. Are, are you ready for this one? Yes. Yeah. What is Doom Guy's favorite winter activity? What? Slaying. I like that one. I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing him like on skis <laughs> out at some like resort. Tear it up, man. Like that, you could put that on a Christmas card, probably, if you really wanted to. Oh, That'd be a good we one. We got Mini yeah. back. Welcome back, Mini Fish. All right, he's back. I'm in black. my BFG in the meantime. Oh, sorry, he's <laughs> in red. You, you see, you may not have known this, everyone, but BFG shots are really just like 500 shotgun shells rammed into the barrel of the BFG. Right. Okay, right. so give countdown when ready, and we'll go again. So, All right, you can say when you're ready. You're ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Go. Go, okay, Emma. And while we Back are getting it. getting ready Back. for uh, the, 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 re, the restarting of the run, we did get a $2 donation from Efrit Fox, who says, but, but, uh, Koema, I think they meant Kioma, <laughs> but Kioma. <laughs> oh, that, that is the joke. So basically, they <laughs> they misspell my name wrong. Every, uh, like they misspell my name every single time for like eighty years at this point. <laughs> eighty years. <laughs> you that count any years? <laughs> I understand that that's uh, pain very much. Being called dangerous so much. So dangerous, they call you Dan dangerous, but you have an they, E in your name, don't you? They spell they spell it dangerous by the But there's an E then. I know. Don't ask questions. I know. <laughs> At least they don't call you damn trophy, you know what I mean? That, no, her, that is true. Well, now you've just given them the idea, right? So. Oh, fudge. <laughs> you've created um, this now. Somebody's got to do it because now you've said uh, it. I'm sorry. You've given life to the demon, literally. Ooh. All right. On to the pinky fight. Yep, on to the pinky fight. Clean as anything. I think I just call this the pinky playground from now on. I think that's the um, room. Yep, mini fish is just waiting for the imps to start spawning. Um, I'm 100% this would be the part where you'd have the uh, heat blast out ready to go. Yeah. But instead, with zero percent, you wait up here and wait for the imps to start spawning and rocket, rocket. And guess what? More they rocket. They just spawn in the same spot. Yeah, rocket. If that don't work, more rocket. More rocket. <laughs> I know a very, very complex solution here to the yeah, imp problem. It's, yeah, it's pretty simple. It's rocket. <laughs> and maybe a little rifle. Oh. 
how nice spawned as no, well. No, I was joking. It's just more rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Predictable. Oh man, actually we're pretty close now. Um, I don't know what would you say the time gap is. You're way better at guesstimating this than I am. About, About a minute. minute. About a minute. That's still pretty close. The Crucible. That's what she was looking for. Vega, did you get the location? Yes. It is located in an uncharted region of the Titan's realm. But we'll need to rupture another Argent accumulator to create the portal. Many fish don't play deeper destruction this time. I'm watching you, young man. <laughs> Sometimes I really wish there were emotes uh, for the campaign in this game because I can't tell you how many times I'd give the middle finger to certain enemy types that spawn in. Hey, I've done that plenty. I remember when I used to do a lot of SL1 Dark Souls. I, I, I got very into that with my monitor and uh, giving the middle finger to manners. <laughs> Uh, guess what? It's more rocket. Yeah, it's time to rocket. Wait, did Mini have to restart a section? Yes, Mini had to restart. Did he die? It was BFG triggered. Ah. Yeah, Sorry, BFG I was on the wrong triggered. screen then. I wasn't paying be, attention. Yeah, it can be very uh, knife edge on whether or not. Yeah. Even if you do BFG responsibly, sometimes it just does its own thing. Do you need to put that on a shirt, please, BFG responsibly? <laughs> <laughs> I'd there wear it. Go. There you go, you've got an idea for our DSR our merch now. There you go, there, there's your merch shop. See, we're spitballing here. Casting and coming up with merch ideas. No commission. <laughs> Sorry, okay. after all, you know. Yeah, absolutely. It's for a good cause. Yeah. Oh uh, yes, the winding staircase of guess what, Doom. Huh. Huh. Uh, uh. You know, I've actually fallen down into this pit before when I missed that jump and actually ended up like triggering the uh, the secret down there. Or the uh, I, I, I panic plenty on it. <laughs> no, 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 like, please, well, no. No, well, there goes my criteria for this. Yeah. I hate this pinky spawn, by the way. Yeah, he's a he's a cheeky little. It's probably the worst place to put an enemy type like that. You can't really get around him. You got to go over him. Oh, that just yeah, I, that annoyed me. I tend to wait on the end of the corridor that he comes in. Yeah. It's just a little bit safer. But then I lose my stack stupidly elsewhere. It's just the waiting. Oops. Hey, it's give and take, man. This arena is also pretty tough. I shot many. I'd say yes. what number yes. number two. Beautiful. Nice. What do you say? Second hardest arena fight in the game. This for zero percent. No, those are dinner. Oh, all dinner. Well, I kind of lumped dinner to just one, <laughs> one conglomeration of pain. This firefight is all about well managing your ammunition and right time to use the quad damage. Your rocket usage is so important for this particular There's also arena. a haste in there, which makes the rifle beautiful at clearing the imps. Yes. I say that, and normally when I, cl I clear this fight, I don't zero percent. I don't touch after the power ropes. <laughs> <laughs> but you are allowed to grab them. That is not against the rules. That's yeah. not, uh, you won't get any extra challenges unlocked for that it's just uh yeah. knowing when to uh, them. yeah i remember once though our, our buddy red warrior again 
zero percent, zero percent ultra nightmare. He triggered off the eight kills of imps with one quad rocket. <laughs> oh, oh no. yeah, that hurts. Yeah. What dro was that? An imp that dropped down in front of him? Probably. I didn't quite see that shit. Hell Knight, okay. Hell Knight spawns above. On top of that box. I saw, like, there was nothing and then there was just demon ass right there. <laughs> yep. And they like to ground pound. Brother. <sighs> Did the uh, Adam Smasher maneuver from uh, Cyberpunk? Yep, so hands in your chat if you happen. Uh oh, and he may be in a little trouble here. Oh. Fireballs, Ooh. man. In fireball. Fireballs are fun. That went fun. I'm not smiling off that one. No, that was. I felt yeah. that one, weren't you, brother? Tell you, man. In fireballs. Final boss yeah. in this game. There's so many of them. They chunk you down so quickly. Yeah. Indeed, Dio. Demon presence eliminated. Lockdown disengaged. And now it's time for Daddy Cyber Demon. I'll slot this guy down fast and... Yeah. Is there any new tech to this fight too, or is it still the same? It's still largely the same. If BF, BFG hit one, shoot again with Sandra overload, rotation on. It's a standard boss procedure. Or they'll just rotate and save the BFG for whenever they choose. Yeah. Streamer's choice. Fuck it and come in and fling you across the room and then you're like, and it's like, <laughs> Kind of like when you come home from work and whoever's been at home hasn't cooked anything. You're like, what's for tea? And they're like, Rawr. Yeah. Oh, go! You're cooking, and I'm like, well, I've been at work all fucking day. <laughs> there we go. Parking, unironically. Yeah. Thank it you, Dark Tide. It still tickles me that you didn't start saying that till we played Dark Tide. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember that actually being used as a. <laughs> oh, oh that's swagger to dodge. That's swagger. That's swagger of that gauss boost. Oh. Yeah, some neo uh some neo movement right there. Beautifully clean. Now face two. We have the bicycle pump. Now we have the power. Yeah. And somebody's put 50p in the Cyber Demon's slot to make him come back to life for a few minutes. Hey, how funny would it be if the Cyber Demon could actually teleport, like, the uh, the Summoner? You know, because the Summoner can summon that. the Cyber Demon walls, but imagine if he could, like, just teleport around like the Summoner. How funny would that be? I'm the only person that's known of that that's happened to, so... I don't know, it'll probably happen in... 50p in this Martian economy, yeah. It, well, it's only a few seconds because Cyber Demon's nearly down already again. He's shoved him down pretty good here. Probably gonna swap to minigun here soon. Yeah. No, Dowry, he's only seen the footage from, well, my, my Switch clip of it. Mm, God. Because that was wild. How nice of him to give him the horn back after he broke it off his head. Yeah. 
Well, if it's happened to me, it's probably going to happen to Rad at some point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, the bicycle pump of doom. Because Kaelm has noted something about the voice in Foundry. It gets weird after you kill the second gore nest sometimes for myself and Red. Where instead really? of being digitized, it goes. It just speaks sweet nothings into your ear. <laughs> so instead of it being. <laughs> it goes. It's down 50%. <laughs> It's free real yeah. estate. <laughs> real estate, yep. Yes, this is an intense run tonight, this realm. Taking yeah. care with power grabbing and not killing two lost souls together are the things to watch out for. Wish they weren't here. Glad you're all here. Me too. So, yep. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. That's the first wave of Kako's dealt with. Yeah, Rocket cool. refill. Yeah. Nine sets of barrels off early, so then last risk of killing the lost souls with them. I really like this level, by the way. I think this may be Thanks. my second favorite in the game. So there we go. That's the Hell Knights wanting to take your order in your health dispatched. It's almost the train tour before the Banky Bus and the first serious fight at this level. Yes, I don't count the first bit. That's just a welcoming party. <laughs> Now this one's got memes, for example, the uh, imp that pops up. And then you got a side of the mic trying to get all up in your business, and then there's two pinkies that will spawn either end of the arena. Yeah. Don't get caught one way, you'll get caught the other. Brother. Brother. Or another favorite, sometimes a revenant just jumps in front as you're about to fire a rocket. <laughs> Suddenly demon ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he tend to do that a lot, actually. Or you, you rocket a pillar just because. That's a I popular mean, new weapon sense trap. If there was rocket jumping in this game, it technically would be movement tech, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's the fight cleared, and KM is on to the second one. Gotta grab that haste, a little extra speed boost. Yeah, pretty... just careful not to kill while you've got the haste on. Right. Fortunately, the uh, timings of the spawn for this next fight are pretty generous. As you can see, he's already in position for the pinky that spawns, and there it's gone. Like I said, most one of the most dangerous ones out there. Oh, I agree. This fight usually isn't too bad because you got so much space to work with. Yeah, there's a lot of verticality to this particular arena. And it's funny, jump not pads. Funny for things yeah, to hide in. Platforms to there we go. move around Spoken on. It. One of the most dangerous. Oh, brother, please. Brother. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had enough jokes and puns for one evening, please. Sorry, I can't help it. Don't worry about it. I don't like that joke. Forget about it. Forget Jeez, about that chat. it. Uh, Seth has just asked you to send in your best puns with your donation uh, as, oh, as your donation message. So <laughs> be sure to right. get your donations in before the end of the run so that we can make this guy groan and sigh an incredible disappointment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, 0% yep. uh, is about suffering, so I guess this is how I get to suffer <laughs> for the remainder of the evening. Hey. Good, bad. It's subjective. I gotta keep telling myself it's for charity, it's for charity, it's for charity. 
Oh, oh man. Uh oh. Okay, I'm so the point. That's the best friend. Watch out, when what's it? We're gonna get crushed. Oh no, what are we gonna do, Dio? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just gonna wait here. The unnecessary tension is over. I'm pretty sure the vast majority of people stand where you pick up the yellow skull key. And they don't actually go to the other side. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Yeah, I, I just tend to. I've never used the other side. I just jump over. Yeah. Hang out with my best friend. Yeah, does he have them strapped to your waist? Where do you, where does he put the skull keys? That's none of our business. It's like yeah, well, <laughs> now that I've asked the question, I'm going to be curious about it. Like, obviously, he has to put it somewhere. So. Oh, huh. It'll have a nether realm of nether realm backpack, kind of like uh, the rabbity thing from Sam and Max. Max, yeah, that's his name. Yeah. The freelance police. Yeah. Uh, Did you ever watch that? He... No, I can't say that is. I was thinking of, like maybe he's got like a Mary Poppins like bag or whatever. He just throws all this stuff into the most menacing thing ever. Demon see him coming, you see him reach into his bag, <laughs> pull out a super <laughs> shotgun. Oh, yeah, I just remember Sam asking Max, okay, so where do you saw your gun? Max just <laughs> replied, that's not a your damn business. <laughs> Brother. Brother. It's still pretty close. I gotta say that. Really? And the fact that they've kept it up, that they've kept pace this far into the run is absolutely incredible. Yeah. No Maybe. one's been able to pull ahead because of the memes of the thing. Well, all new games are a bit of a meme. Yeah. Now, I'm impressed as well that Kayama did do the top, go top gear thing of, uh, yeah, we waited for him, then we moved on. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Good spot. No mega health there. That one does count as a secret. There was a mega health around there somewhere, right? Or is that a little later on? I'm thinking That's a later good. on. I lied. Uh, the mega health on this level's in a secret. Yeah, is it right there though? Or is it yeah. in a different spot? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's in a secret. You can't grab it. Yeah. yeah, there's one inside the classic level, and then there's one right before you get to the very last arena. And they're both. Right, okay, things. yeah. That's what I was thinking of. You know, oh, that yeah. chainsaw has like. Come on, Nick. Arena, Specs is introduced and dispatched. Kako's an imp, Smanks in a baron. Hey, Seth. Yeah. You want to hear a pun? Not really, but I feel like it's coming anyway. It, it is. Darve donated $10 and said, Funny, those road signs caution watch for children. I mean, how dangerous can a child be? Oh, <laughs> please. And I, and I do want to point out that Darve did spell dangerous like my name. So thank you, Darve, for the 10. Good, good. <laughs> he committed to the joke. <laughs> I got to give uh, respect or respect to the two. At least he uh, full committed. Yeah. Oh, well, kids could be pretty dangerous. I remember myself as a kid once. I drank a whole bottle of Volcadine. That what? was at that time. Yeah, I was only five. My parents Sorry. were very unamused. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad my mum was in this. Yeah, I'm, that sounds like it'd be a bad time for everybody. So yeah, that joke with quite an element of truth to it. Kids are cruel, Jack, and I'm very in touch with my inner child. Her <laughs> hurt. There we I go. Forget. Are you allowed to pick up? No, you're not allowed to pick up Berserk here, are you? No, you are not. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that I, hurts. I have once picked it up as the uh, BFG shot was trailing. And, uh, Ooh, that really hurts. Yeah. 
Anyway, yeah, once I had picked it up when the BFG shot was trailing into the Baron and it ticked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, to the to start on this final fight, two Manx, a HK summoner, second HK, second summoner, and then the Baron. Sounds easy enough, but as we just saw, it isn't. <laughs> no, no, it is not. Very easy to banana skin. I've even been stuck on this fight for a good 10 minutes before. What's well, the summoner? It's the summoner that can sometimes throw this entire thing off. Yeah. Trick is to get the rocket and then gausses the uh, rocket. That's how I one. literally hurtled over that rocket. It went it's... right between his legs. Yeah. Those powerful quads of his. You want to see some quad damage? damage. Check him out on leg day. <laughs> Good deal. Kaoma's through. Yeah. Yep. And Minnie's not far behind him. No. Be along in the on the final fight, too. Necropolis. So, best way to avoid the cat police is not to use your pistol on Mancubus, not to BFG with multiple cacos in the air, and also to avoid killing things with barrels. Can be a little risky the last one, but the guys will take care of it. And meanwhile, Mixed Guitar's about to charge up, so let's go. This is the first time that like the full rip and tear track is played. As far as I'm aware, yes. Yeah. Preemptively blowing up all the barrels. Yep. Murder of the Spectre. Chainsaw HK. Slap of the HK. Fade away rocket. Yeah. I think I'll jump out of the fight. <laughs> like, see ya. Oh, that's Horrible. unlucky he didn't die. Hmm. Horrible spot for a Cyber Monkey to slap. Yeah, he's, uh, he is the zone master. He zones you out of areas. Yeah. Any more good jokes, then? Funny that you mentioned that. We just got a $10 anonymous donation with the comments. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Seth. I have to read the comment. Uh, I don't mind punishing Seth with puns. He uh... is not, he is not dangerous. <laughs> uh... <laughs> He's not <mostly> harmless. <laughs> Dude, if Suffer Percent was a category, I'm pretty sure it'd be me right now. Nah, uh, <laughs> I think I've only ever seen Suffer Percent once, and well, oh boy, that was quite something. Is Suffer Percent an actual category? Don't you lie to me. Well, if you remember, I did it at the end of uh, Slays for Charity, where people rebound everything. Oh, oh I remember that now, yes. Yeah. So Suffer Percent is a category. I was on yeah. the couch for that run, and uh, I remember. Yeah. Yep. That was. I, I was torturing Byte by donating a, a single dollar for some some of the challenges, and uh, oh. he was he was not happy with me. No, because <laughs> the absolute worst ones to donate, because normal normal folks like it don't speed run the game. Like, oh well, like unbind this weapon or unbind that. Well, he could play around that, but you were saying stuff like unbind like jump from your scroll wheel or like yeah. <laughs> like other random stuff that's really gonna screw with his movement or his uh i think you had him invert his mouse no what point. no what i did was i had him open up the console type in g underscore fov uh 30 i think oh yes. i remember and, that and lives like playing the game looking through a toilet paper tube and the poor guy was just like I mean, you could hear him internally crying just <laughs> with this ridiculously that. narrow field of view on Cattinger. Yes. Oh. 
I remember this. I like, looking through a uh, lens the entire time. That was funny. <laughs> I we should do that again. We, if I remember correctly, I think we had more donations racked up during that particular stream than any other point in the day because it was like bound. Like you could just make him play a certain way. The time stamp of where they are at this point is absolutely incredible. Yeah, both these guys are absolutely blistering through this level right now. You'll be like... Oh, those fireballs hurt. I didn't even use the arena. This arena looks that simple, doesn't it, me? Yes, it does. It's Here's a DMC reference, Jojo. Plenty of mags to start in Kakos and two revs, HK, and then the quad face. That's had it being nice. Change the revenant. Feels some more nice, it's all. Then the two barons combined to this little corridor is brilliant for the Delta 12 Che gun. Instead of the art, bang bang. <laughs> what? Why? It's the Delta 12 chain gun. That's why its designation is in this state of the art bang bang. I didn't hey, know Seth. that, but Delta. What? Want to hear my other Clarence Bodicker impressions? <laughs> I mean, I feel like, I again, I don't have a choice. I'm about to hear it anyway. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just get to have all the fun today, don't I? I'm starting to agree to go cast it. I to play it. <laughs> Tonight, I never miss a game. Oh my gosh. Can you do a Skeletor impression too? Hey man, he man. Ah, he man. What do we want me to do, he man? Beast man, beast man. <laughs> I won't do the rest of that because it gets very naughty. <laughs> Yeah, I would so never so recommend that. I was map. told to be family friendly today, so that that's what I'm doing my best. Same. I'm doing my best to be family friendly. Supremely. I mean, I don't think any of us have sworn yet. I mean, unless you count demon asses in SW, like, uh... Would not be spicy at all. Well, maybe a little spicy, but not that spicy. Like too, maybe too a little too, too much, like like a little too much pepper on your mac and cheese, spicy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got some madras or fall or voodoo. Sorry, that Vindu Revenant's yeah. torso went flying. That was kind of funny. We all did. See you next week. <laughs> even funnier on the replay. It's even funnier a second time. <laughs> That hey, simple Seth. isn't being that simple. Yeah, what's Come up? On, Do you want to hear another pun? No. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel like I'm hey, going to hear it anyway. Hey, Seth, you, you want me to tell you anyway? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got a $9.88 donation from I'm tired but got nothing better with the comment. Oh, no, the way I'm staying awake to watch this stream is pretty spasmodic as well as dangerous. It could also be considered as extremely Seth, Seth XY. Uh, Seth. I mean, you could just say sexy to you. I don't mind Se you calling sexy, me that. Yeah, at all. but I, it was, it's a little harder to say that. Yeah, I mean, if you really lisp it out like Mike Tyson would, you can get kind of close. <laughs> Bruh. I mean, but you know, it's a lot easier to do if you have like a really massive gap in your front teeth. Yeah, I, I don't have uh, nearly that big of a gap. I don't. Yeah, so be I ethereal. <laughs> as long as the donuts keep coming in, I mean, keep hitting me with the puns, if that's what it I takes. Know, Did you know picking up the rocket salt, the left can be quite risky? Shouts to Tricky Dog and myself, we've had the revenant set the icon off. And an errant rocket spawn in the collectible. Really? Yeah, but... I didn't even know did that. Kaoma didn't even go that way. He just 
final BFG fight and the Baron spawned into it. I've always BFG'd that fight ever since I found out you could do that way yeah. better. Must be a horrible thing. You spawn in from hell into a BFG tendril. Do you end up in second hell for that? You know, like second breakfast. Ah uh, yes, hell and then hell too. The sequel. Yeah. <laughs> If there were some bad boys in the round too. Boss fight time. <laughs> this is Worms shout out, I'm sure, except no banana bombs, but they can one shot you with the melee swipe that does over 150 damage. Or the short tail energy wave attack. Quite the fun zone. Did you just say fun zone in my presence, sir? Yes, I did. And I'll do it again. Brother. <laughs> I've never I've seen got... plasma gun used to destroy the little orb there. I've always ever seen the Gauss cannon or rockets used. I use it. The plasma gun just deals that much more damage at that part. Really? And then you can chain, chain in a uh, little rotation just before the shield goes back up. Oh, I didn't know that. Or you can just power through like that. Bang, 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 and the dirt is gone. Quite a visceral glory kill, that. That's right, just chuck your grenade away again. Hope you don't need it in 10 seconds. <laughs> he won. Uh, I mean... He'll be fine. He's got BFG Which one do you spot. normally try and kill first here? Caster. Always Caster. Caster. But yeah. Hey, Seth. Yeah. You want to hear another joke? I do. <laughs> At this point, I might as well. Spasmodic dropped a twenty-two dollar donation. It says, "Oh yeah." Have you heard about the new restaurant on the moon? The food is great, but there's no atmosphere. Oh, ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, kind of like that one. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> a good one. That was a pretty good one. And just as a reminder for everybody, I know we're having a lot of fun. We're laughing at all these jokes, but. Suicide is no laughing matter, and we are raising money for the 998 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, 988 provides direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. The Lifeline works. You are not alone in crisis. For 24-7 confidential support, just call, text, or chat 988. Good stuff. Well, we've made it to the end of the level, too, sir. Yeah. How you feeling, Bri? How you feeling so far? Sorry, well, it's ready pretty neck and neck. Oh, it's time for Vega. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's like, what, 3 a.m. there? 4 a.m.? 4 a.m. 4 a.m. You must be having a blast. Yeah, it's a nap before work this work. Yeah, I can hear it in your voice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying. No, man, you're good. I mean, I, I would not be uh, anyway, that Vega. conscious at 4 a.m. <laughs> Come on, my brain. Vega is where the memes become very real. Biggest things to avoid are not to chainsaw... Oh, to chain... Not chainsaw cagros. Not glory kill imps or possessed engineers. Or for three kills off a grenade. However, this level's perfect for BFG spam. You can go hog wild, and you can also just avoid the secret by just shooting. Which Funny is how weird. you make it to the ground before your rocket does there. Yeah, <laughs> and you can just jump down there and not take damage. Thanks, Sid. There's a couple of those falls where you just you're invulnerable for damage on this level. So, first fight, kill the revs and sub soldiers, second phase start, supply big friendly gun, mopple. Pretty standard stuff, really. Um... Yeah. And grab the info. SBFG usage there. Oh. I was wondering where that mankindus was. 
We're just out chilling with the imp. Hey, crack open a cold one, man. Yeah. They were probably gonna use a terminal for some fighting games. Like it's Christmas Day at work and there's nobody coming in. You know, you bring huh. one in from home or something. I used to do that when I was manager. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? We're stuck here for a bit. Here, here have this controller. Get play some of that guilty gear or something. Have some fun. I've got the cow and no biggie. Because Christmas Day is the only day of the year you can get away with that sort of stuff. Yeah. I mean, but it's Christmas, you know, like, anyone who does work on Christmas, shout outs to you. Yeah. I, I've had to work on Christmas before. It's, I don't know. I feel like that should be, uh, there's some holidays that should just be kind of universally respected. I mean, I get it. Not everyone can have Christmas off, like first responders, other things like that. So, yeah. You know, if you do work on Christmas, you know, power to you. You are needed. Now, this particular level, you fall through the floor a lot. Oh, many. <laughs> many, many times you fall through the level on this particular... Well, not this fight, but the area you were before, I think you can fall through a lot. Um, yeah. And there's a couple other little sections. Did that BFG hit the wall? It did. Is it not supposed to do that? I don't think so. I'll try again. Oof. Yeah, I caught the pillar. Well, the BFG is okay. pretty forgiving on this level. Yeah. We'll just fire again. Kill that summoner. Meanwhile, salutes to Minifish and rightly so for killing the burns. Yep. So on to the uh, second to last level. Did you guys ever play much of Worms? when you were a kid? Not a whole lot, no. Good fun. I saw a... Uh, oh, yeah, of... I used to watch a lot of people play it. Oh, and... It's the easiest way to ruin friendships, go. that's for sure. Nah, easiest way to ruin friendships came along right later. Left for Dead versus. <laughs> When Armageddon was my jam back in the day. Me on that one. And meanwhile, Vega train fight where we just BFG down the train tracks. It works. It does work. If you try to go down there, it is a uh, mosh pit of death. It's gonna go down there, grab some more ammo, and probably just go right back up. Yeah. Oh, no. First, you gotta check out the trucks, you know, to find the deeds out of them. Mm. A little shock to the system. A little wake up call. Speaking of shocks to the system, are you guys looking forward to System Shocks remake coming out this year? I saw that. I haven't. Um, I haven't played the original though, so I can't really speak to it. Oh, Brown, you can borrow my CD-ROM version of it. <laughs> when did it? Uh, when did it first come out? 1994. Okay. Well, looks like Kevin uh, was gonna grab this haste and be on his way to the final section before dinner. No more demons until the uh, next level. Hey, I think Dara. Sorry, yeah, I think it's that system shock or worms. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know anything, man. Bruh. Yeah, squish through the door. Look at Vega's ginormous brain. Yep. Somehow we managed to put that onto a thumb drive. Those thumb drives are getting... Well, they're still the same size, but this. I guess you're not downloading all of his computing power, you're just downloading his memory. 
putting it on the thumb drive. I guess that makes more sense. Well, you can't download RAM. Just like you got to be careful on downloading illegal content because it weighs, actually weighs down your hard drive. And that's what stops it spinning as fast. And you would know this how, sir? <laughs> My friend Selby, he works for uh, Seagate. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's why Seagate drives tends to die within a year. <laughs> All right, on to Denur. Pain and suffering. Pain and suffering. Pain and suffering. Especially so because you cannot use the BFG. No. no. It's probably the worst part of this whole level. The other, one of the other mission challenges is tied to tied to the secret, so that's a non-starter. But the other one, two kill. Kill two HKs with one shot can be triggered in the last arena. All it needs is a quad rocket. Yeah, it's a little harder to do without a siege mode, to do. but you can still do it with quad. Yeah. Well, power ups are allowed though, which is good. If, yeah. <laughs> can you imagine what it'd be like if you could use power ups for this run? That HK had a huge. Smelled something on you, I think that came. I uh, must have smelled your cologne or something. Yeah. Yeah. As long as it was an Axel Lynx Africa, you thigh. Yeah. Oh, the Doom guy. <laughs> Funny animation. Points and click until it's done. Point and click until it's fun. But it's always fun. Minnie's in the train, train fight of Vega now. Sir, BFG spam time. Yep. We'll be able to use it the next level, so you might as well use it here. And then enjoy using it. So they're at this part at 1 hour 57 in. Absolutely awesome. Two juggernauts. And all one has to do is one minus slip and then they're back together again. Yeah, this first fight I think is going to be a pretty good indicator of what's to come. Supremely so. The Everything in dinner can just slip you up and then you get stuck into a loop. Very easy. Both these Watch. guys know what they're doing. Yeah, they do, and it can still happen. Yep. Shows you how difficult this uh, this arena can be. Yeah. So Regardless okay. of the category. So yeah, KM will left the Mega, and that's because he's going to collect it after the fight for the next fight. Yep. Manage your resources well. Now. Quad time. Yep. And he's perfectly short circuited the fight. As long as you kill the revenants within half a second of each other, make golden revs up properly. And then you've got free reign for staying at the back here. You can be in Lord Death of Murder Mountain. The quad helps out a lot in that endeavor. Oh yes, it sure does. Especially with all these pinkies and revenants that he was swarmed with. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, and there's the death. Imps, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. It didn't help that he ate the hit off the hell knight. That uh, Hell Knight can be so mounted sometimes. He'll either hide up there waiting for you to come, or he'll just not take the uniform damage that he should. He's a jerk. That he is. And Kaoma there just missed the short circuit, so he's reloaded Chaplin. I apologize if I've commentators cursed you. 
Uh, I don't think it's commentator's curse. I just think it's this map. It's could Nah, it's cuz Doom. I just Doom decided. I yeah. didn't want to let you out yet. I might rebalance that from half a second to point quarter of a second between killing the revenants. I um, mean, he's catching back up. He's just wrapping up on taking out. Yep. So, this time on the run, they have both made it into the final level together. Awesome. That's exciting that this race was still this close. Yeah. Big finish. Big guns, big finish. Yeah, Minifish is going to have to rename himself, rename himself from Minifish to Big Fish. Big Fish. <laughs> nice dodge that, game there with that pinky. Yeah, that, that pinky is... Uh... He was being far from cooperative. Yeah. Oh, Hell Knight should be coming in now. Yeah, speak of them and no appear. <laughs> <laughs> Like saying his name three times. That's the one. Speaking of that, I miss Phasmo. Oh yeah. Put the cookie down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pair they've actually updated that game a lot over yeah. the past couple years. It came out in like what, 2020? 2021? Yeah. Uh, well, that was weird. And <laughs> then he was kind of stun locked there for a second yeah. with the Berserk. It just wasn't, it was just refusing the glory kill that Pinky. Or it's because he was on the stairs or something. Funky. It will have been. And both Revenants are just hanging out up there. It's Unfortunate. Uncooperative sometimes, especially when you're trying to glory kill a Revenant in the, uh, Got killer the summoner there, my guy. Yep. Kama's gonna pick up that mega grab. Not the BFG, because he can't even use it. And no, uh, roll into this next fight. I'll grab enough BFG cells in this arena. Because there's one there, and then there's one at the uh, exit point. Yep. So I'll go through there and then just slap the pinky down. Set the barrel off. So. <laughs> Mini <laughs> is giving me like a mini heart attack <laughs> as he's uh, hey. moving around. Uh, those were two mantles that uh, made yeah, my heart skip a bit there. Cyber as well, my goodney. Yeah, my goodney. My bad knee too. <laughs> bad knee. Oh my bad knee. My good knee. My bad knee. Ah. Shouts to Deva. Former world record holder of the uh, zero percent nightmare. At two hours fifty four. I'm still buzzing, Seth. Buzzing. <laughs> yeah. Buzzing. Like vibrating or just buzzing? Vibe. Is in vibing because I well my PB. Oh yeah. It allows you to do uh, some trash talk, sir. I'm not doing trash talk of these two. I know, but you could if you wanted to. Yeah, I know I could if I wanted to, and I don't. Because it's too damn good. Fuck them go. Besides, I wouldn't wish the memes of 0% on other people, you know? <laughs> well, they play 0%, so obviously they like pain. Yeah, the en yeah, I know they enjoy it, but I'm not giving them what they want. <laughs> oh my god, don't deny them extra pain and suffering. That sounds straight. Heard. <laughs> yes, this is brutal.
Does the acid pools from the cyber make you buy do extra damage against other demons? I'm not sure. I think it does. I that saw the revenant be. standing in the pool of acid, and it looked like he was taking more damage. The demons do have friendly fires, so uh, it is very likely that the yeah. uh, the acid pool does do damage to them. Unlike Doom Eternal, where they do not do damage to each other. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really like that part of this game. Like, I knew, like, their melees and their, like, other other weapons damaged each other, but I didn't know if, like, the if they stood in a pool of acid, if that would actually damage them, too. But yeah, that makes sense. That arena was beautiful. I only took one hit, so he's pretty much got full stack. On to the last fight. Unlucky mini. The first fight on this can be an absolute meme. Yeah, that quad has to be timed to perfection. I always run out of quad when I run this I too early. Run. It's the pinkies. Yeah. The pinkies and the specs are the specs, it tends to be my biggest pain in the neck on that fight. Or the revenants. Or the other pinkies. <laughs> just so munted as well, the way they can just turn around and then. Or do 90 pivot. degree and 180 degree charges. Oh, that chainsaw. Yep. Did you see that? Okay. Yes, I did. Beautiful. Saved a lot of stack there, that's for sure. I wouldn't have killed him, but that would have hurt a lot. Yeah. No, for Pinky. Don't live. That ammo, uh, that ammo consumption is rough on each of these fights. It's the brain myself. The second fight's tough because you've got no extra chainsaw pips. Yeah. Meanwhile, really I gotta he... time it out. Mini yeah. just finished the first arena. You'd be grabbing that mega health. Revenant. They actually got a pretty nasty melee too. Oh. For a quote unquote ranged unit, Revenant's got a pretty nasty melee. Oh, wait. So, oh, no, the chain good. Is Seems to be now working out so far. Yeah, now everything by the imps will kind of just peace out. Good. More chainsaw, uh, more fuel, more fun. Oh, yeah. that hurts. That hurts a lot. Yeah, that pinky just. Oh, unexpected mancubus in the arena. Yeah, full combat rating though. All those Indeed. fights went off uh, pretty smoothly. Now he just has the giant uh, robot spider to fight. He means to split, right? Like crush it. Oh, Plutonia. Yeah. What was Plutonia virtual was on with it? I think so. I don't think it was back for I flash consumed. I think I'm doing some run of classic deal. You know if she dies here? She didn't have her bike so pump. Much. <laughs> They promised you so much, yeah. That was something that tells me they already promised you a little statue somewhere. Bad news and seeing Kek Revol. Kek Revol? <laughs> Kek Revol, yeah.
Shout-outs to the Kelvin ship. Oh yeah, the Kelvin is still still a cool dude. He was on on one of the uh, runs early, wasn't he? Yeah. I miss his YouTube channel. Especially with the caption of I'm not Nick Gordon. <laughs> Spider fight's going well so far. Yeah. Smack him with another BFG. Very good. About to trigger that final phase. That final BFG. And now we have a staring contest. Yep. The moment with the spider before and you get the paper out. And there we go. Good deal. There's the check. There's the check. Good to go. Good. Now we're gonna sit on top of the spider. And bounce up and down and up and down. GG's Kaoma. Yeah, let's go. Well done. Good game, Kiyama. Well played. That will be a finish time of what? Around two ten. Two ten. Yeah. Even with the memes. Even with the memes, two ten is fast. Like, yeah, yeah a couple years ago, that would have been unthinkable. Indeed. Then again, there were some pretty nasty skips at the beginning. That's over. And you now Kaim is on. I'm sorry, now. Now Mini, Mini, Mini is on the final arena. Well, bloody done, Mini. Yes, sir. Not coming. Too far behind here. Not at all. And it's been absolutely incredible how they both kind of get lockstep with each other. Yeah. There was some memory going on, though, in the middle of the game. I feel that kind of threw off the rhythm. Yeah. Hello, Chop. I'm not uh, kicking ass. I'm here instead. Waving. I am not the Oh, the stream was bugging out on Twitch for a second there. Yeah. Because there is no choice. We It was Sam doing a Microsoft update, kind of like he's got some ammo locks in position now. I know you pirated content once when you were younger. I'm sending you to hell. A uh, quick question: the is the Kuma's run still valid? Uh, um, yeah. If if it is still valid, I do believe this is a world record by like twenty five minutes or something. Yeah, by for twenty nightmare? minutes or something. Yeah, for, for nightmare. Yeah, it's because the Kuma's listed time on speedrun.com is a two thirty five, and that's in game time. This is a two ten RTA. So this well, is like... I guess the only thing is the he stopped in the middle. Uh, how does that count it? Because oh, crushed. that's true. We did. We did uh, also, uh, the, also the true, out yeah. bounds. I mean, even Sorry, without that in there. So if you remove yeah, that, it's probably even faster than two ten. It's around when. Well, we paused the timer there. for that. So, but yeah, okay. if we re if if it's valid, otherwise we we may be able to retime it. Yeah, I mean, because he did. There was no broken mechanics in the game. It's just like he stopped moving. So yeah, he, it he was just kind of fair. paused the run. So we we may be able to retime it. We'll we'll maybe have a talk as, in the moderator channel and uh, make a decision about that. I mean, he also had me and Bry in his ear the entire game. So <laughs> props to him for beating it, uh, uh, making a world record off of that while uh, we were chatting it up. GGS. My question though is the uh, out of bounds stuff, because it was the out of bounds uh, res ops. I well, think out of bounds the, uh, is allowed. UN had that. EUN run had that. 
Yeah, What's the UN that. world record, by the way? If you don't it's, mind me asking. It's a 215, uh, if you don't yeah, count, like, Byte's modded. Okay. Yeah, Byte by has a faster time with, with the mod on, so. Truth is, uh, neither of uh, neither of us uh, submitted runs, but uh, Mini also has a faster timer, uh, a faster time. Ooh. And I got a, a or nightmare or ultra nightmare. Like, a nightmare. I got a two oh four last week, so I don't know. Oh, y'all wow. gotta Go keep off. track of your runs and submit them, man. <laughs> two oh four oh, is smoking. <laughs> that is smoking, sir. Um. How many is on this last fight now? And what do you know, Kaon was just queuing up speedrun times at faster times, just like uh, I've always believed Zero Masters had them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has that? Just, I'm certain of it. Sometimes that, that, that madman will just pop one out, you know, kind of like, yeah, I did this run a while ago, but here you go. Bang. <laughs> Someone's beat my time, here you go, have another one beating that one. <laughs> Oh, Mini. Let's bring it on, Omar. So we are on the last arena uh, for yeah. Minifish, which means that we don't have a lot of time left. So if you're going to get your, your last minute donations in, you got to do it now. Or you're going to miss out on uh, getting that total up as high as we possibly can. Jump back over wow. here. There we go. So on a scale of uh, one to getting ready to pass out, how uh, how tired are you right now, Bray? I'd say about three or four. Three or four. Doom is life. Go <laughs> oh, on, man. Get him. Oh, that ammo yeah. hurts. There we go. Like I said earlier. Don't do oh. one. Chain gun. Steady the up. Bang, bang. Oh no, the Revenant. Unfortunate. Uh, still got ammo. Still got ammo. Oh, no! No, 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 you cruel game. Yes, this arena is incredibly horrible at this tier. Well, you're not allowed to use BFG, which is 100%. You can just kind of cheese it. It's all about first killing the Hell, hell Knights, making sure there's no barrels in your workspace. Yeah. And then killing the Pinkies and dodging their little carking yeah. charge. Speaking of Hell Knights. We actually took out the BFG for a second there. Sure is Phoenix. Back in him. Eighties fireballs, eighties hanging off walls, simple laws. <laughs> Day in the life of a true Doom guy geezer. Yeah, Wake up every morning in general now. <laughs> Good control over the fight so far. Cybermank time. Shortly after, we'll get to the Barons. deal got him down good here we go phase two No, oh, that Baron killed him. 
Convenient. That was funny. One, uh, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Good Two, deal on the uh, Revenant kill. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Nice. Just the one left. And he has no bullets. <laughs> Whoever's Pretty left possible. is a chain gun. Pistol whip him. <laughs> Very good. All right, time to go murder a spider. This is just a monkey biscuit. He's the memo sending on the TPS reports, and they finally received them. Although many. That fight can be such a trap. I've been trapped on that fight for hours before. Normally on your first zero percent run, you're trapped in that fight for a long ass time. Yeah. Because sometimes it just be that way. Sometimes it do just be that way. All those arenas are tough though, to be fair. So yeah, well done Kaomi, that was hard fought. Thank you. Can, you. can you stop making this look so easy, please? What do you mean? That was, that was insanely difficult. Like, I Your almost lost was my run like tonight. five times in a row. Yeah, but your movement was pretty on point. I don't remember seeing that much shit far out. I blame SF6. Yeah. I know, you were getting that excuse in early. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> So, anybody you want to shout out after you've completed that run, sir? Well, first of all, um, shout outs to all of the Doom community. Like, uh, thank you guys so much for doing what you do. Um, I actually joined the Doom community and speedrunning community when I was at a really tough moment with a competitive street, uh, street Fighter. So, Doom uh, helped me find, find the joy in what I do for the sake of it. And um, it is what recovered my passion for for fighting games and gaming in general. So thank you all. Huge shout outs to, to all of you guys. Uh, Dane, Bry, Mini, Seth, uh, Bite Me, of course, Red Warrior. I actually, um, I watched Red play this game for like an entire Dance year. Dance on his head, Mini. Dance on his head, Mini. Yeah. So yeah, thank you all. What that bloody spider? Good stuff. Oh yeah. I used to watch Red a, a ton too back when he streamed zero percent. And oh my off. god! Second place Slayer, Mini Fish. Well done on finishing. <laughs> GG. Dude, that that cool. last arena that was. Uh, that was I a got lot. it. So much there was one. So many fireballs. Yeah. yeah I also yeah. in Laz, uh the reason why I had to restart is I, I got the uh BFG thing because yeah. an extra set of imps spawned after everything should have been dead. Oh my god, he so, got dead? Yeah. Yeah. So I had to completely restart the second part and just sit in the like two minute long cutscene. Frustrating. So, yeah, hell of a run to complete on stream. And if you ever think you did that, please rewatch the Slayers for Charity 0% race where I took part. You will see what that is. <laughs> you did great. Anybody who likes to shout out, Mini? Uh, shout out to Dads. Um, not mine, obviously, but just Dads in general. Thank you. Heard that. <laughs> Dirty arm, man. Don't forget your family and money modes in chat, lads. Double heard um, on that. And, GG's, uh, guys. Yeah, that was more. really fun to watch. It's been a while since I've seen uh, yeah. a zero percent run from start to finish. It's kind of cool to see all the new tech that's come out over the past couple years. 
And Dane, have we had any more jokes before we go off the air? No more jokes, but we did get a $10 donation from Chaco with no comment. Thank you very much, Chaco, for that. Oh, thank you, Chaco. And for all your work you've done over this. Sweet. Yeah. Good race, Kiyama. Yeah, good race. GG. Well played. Well played. Excited to watch it back because it seemed very close the entire time. Yeah, you it was. The second, it wasn't seconds insane. of each other yeah. for a long portion of that round. Yeah. Um, it, it was only to know where you... I think really. that crash kind of interrupted the flow a little bit. Yeah, it, um, yeah, after that, everything started to go wrong. He still pulled it together really well, though. I mean, it's still a really, really fast time uh, yeah. for 0%. Like, it still, I think, beats the last timed and submitted world record. Uh, what What was the... Uh... What was the time? Because I, I know I got like three golds before my PC crashed, and then all my splits are now gone. So, good. Uh, I don't have the exact time. Dane, do you remember what the, the time was currently uh, on speedrun? The, the timer stopped a little late, but RTA, your final time was a 2.22.43, uh, but it might be retimed to like a 22.40 or something like that. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, any, any last shout outs you want to give before we wrap it up? Um, nah, I, I just shout out to the Doom community. I mean, Bry, uh, watching. Don't shout me out. Yeah, Bry. Everybody go check him out. No, Sweet don't. Little guy. I check no. him out every single day. I love looking at him. Cute little cheeks. Oh, off. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> the absolute cheek of this gentleman. Uh, no. That's why you like hanging out with us. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I don't want to